Hey, Jimmy, thank you for bailing us out. No, oh, no problem, Cheech. You want to ride in my car or you're going to take your magic carpet? All right, okay. Hey, you want to go see that band now? Nah, I'm good. I think I got enough entertainment watching my cellmate expel a condom of crystal meth. Oh, come on. It was just a little bit of stupid fun. So we can't buy a firearm now. Sarah, I'm all about stupid fun. I once braided my hair with little seashells to be funny. And I kept it for five years. But I'm not only about stupid fun. I mean, every time we get together, it turns into getting high in a car or having sex in a car. With this, Sarah, that happened? Sorry, you guys are having a thing. Look, I'm sad to say this, Sarah. I just think that we want different things. I'll see you around. It's been fun. Oh, crap. You OK? Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, I, too, am having a terrible night. Oh, were you also almost cut for being a snitch? Worse. I started dating this girl, and basically, she's the female version of me. That's terrible. No, that's not even the bad part, I think. The bad part is I, I was trying to get the upper hand, and I act like an idiot. Do you really like her, or are you just bummed that you lost some game? Because if it's the game thing, just buy yourself something expensive and unnecessary. If you actually like her, you should tell her. She probably doesn't know. So I still may have the upper hand. No, oh, Jimmy. Kidding. Good advice, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my advice about Craig? Oh, it's cute that you're trying, but no. Hey, not sure why you asked me to come over. If it's an apology, it's weird that you made me drive to you. That is true. But I made a tasting course dinner to make up for the one that we missed. Huh, that's right. We were in jail. I forgot about that. OK, now keep your expectations in check. I only had an hour to put all of this together. But for our first course, we have the tail end of a sun-dried tomato hummus paired with baby carrots that may have peaked a couple of weeks ago. You're literally naming my favorite leftovers. <laughs> OK. Or our second course, this block of cheddar and a baguette that doubles as a weapon. Whoa. How did I get a reservation here? Well, it doesn't hurt that you're sleeping with the chef. Um, look, I need another shot. I got into this thinking I was just going to keep things fun, but that led to jail. And I think I strained my neck from all that car sex. Did I do something wrong? I think the problem was that you didn't. Hmm. I mean, for me, it's almost easier dating someone with a lot of flaws, like a bigot or a klepto or a stand-up comedian, because if it ends, I don't have to care. But you're great. And this felt real in a way that I wasn't used to. I got scared, so I acted like a dummy. Well, I could start being a klepto, if that helps. <laughs> or... Let's try this your way. Let's go deeper. Do you want me to tell you about my classmate from high school who died? Can you do it while we're eating? Deal. To be honest, she was kind of a bitch. 